Hello, Zoo Peoples. My name's Saku Senpai. You can just call me Saku if you want. Pokemon just released Mega Rayquaza, and I am freaking the f out. It looks amazing. The most majestic ass thing I've ever seen. Oh, and it, it's it's right in just all sorts of different ways. First, let's talk about Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon. So keep in mind, they have Primal Evolutions. Rayquaza, in the Mega Evolution Special in Japan, was fabled to be the link, the origin of all Mega Evolution in Pokemon. It also showed him on the promotional poster to have a stone that had other gems in it gleaming from it. And Pokemon divulged the link. We understand it now a little more. Rayquaza is indeed potentially the origin, the father. That stone has probably a lot to do with it. Pokemon actually has explained about it on their website, too. Being the father of all Dragon Legendary Pokemon, the first, and then being the grumpy dad that quills the fight between Kyogre and Groudon, Mega Rayquaza gets a boost in nearly every stat. Probably everything except HP, since HP's usually been left alone. In attack and special attack get a tremendous boost. His ability goes from Airlock to Delta Stream, which means it's Delta Rayquaza. Huh. Delta Emerald. Delta Stream brings about a fierce wind that negates all weather conditions and cannot be dispelled by traditional means. Perhaps the fog can't do anything about it. This ability also negates all special effective attacks on flying type Pokemon. Or at least the flying type no longer have their weaknesses. Now put a Talon Flame in a double battle with a Rayquaza and now you just... Things are gonna get very hectic. When you look at Mega Rayquaza, you see glowing streams of light coming from his body, specifically his lower jaw, horns, and other parts. He also has a few gems scattered throughout his body that are embedded in the darker parts. And that just adds to how majestic he is. Jeez, so beautiful. Along with this information about Mega Rayquaza, Pokemon revealed some information, some more to the tales of the legends of the Hoenn region. Since we knew that Kyogre and Groudon battled each other, but we didn't exactly know why. We just knew that Team Magma and Team Aqua wanted them to do their bidding to expand the lands and raise the sea and such. But what did Kyogre and Groudon want from each other? It was each other's power. This is the legend. It was a primal age early in the world's history. The natural world was overflowing with energy. That energy granted Groudon and Kyogre an overwhelming power. Seeking ever more of that energy for themselves, the two clashed again and again, and their battles cast the people and Pokemon of Hoenn into great danger. Brimming with the overwhelming power granted by the energy of nature, this transformation was named by later people Primal Reversion, and the people called their tormentors Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. One Pokemon looked down upon this battle from the sky above, the Pokemon that danced in the heavens, Rayquaza. Rayquaza is venerated by the people of Hoenn as their protector and savior. When Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre had battled for 20 dawns and 20 nights, the world began to lose its natural balance and tilt towards destruction. The people, unable to endure any more, cried out to their mighty savior Rayquaza before a great stone that shone with rainbow brilliance, and a change came upon Rayquaza, weaving in the sky above Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. Sufficed in brilliant light, its body began to transform visibly. And then, then Pokemon leaves us on the cliffhanger. But we can predict what happens next because in Emerald, Grumpy Sky Dragon wants none of that from Kyogre Groudon. Just stops them right before they can do anything else worse. This news is so amazing! I love Rayquaza. I always say I liked every Pokemon, and Rayquaza was pretty up there. But let's be honest, Rayquaza is my favorite Pokemon. So. Record this in the morning, but I'm also going to the midnight release of Smash Bros. I'm excited, and I'm posting this anyway, so when there's more news with Bow Pokemon, I'll be here for it. Have a good one, guys. See ya. Bye.